Hey booktube, welcome back to my channel, my name is the Book Mage, and it probably has not escaped your notice, I'm actually pretty ill. Thankfully, uh, it is not Covid, however, if you can like, sense the gross illness on me in this video, especially in how I sound, then I'm really sorry about that, but I've already put like a lot of videos off and pushed them back because of being ill, and I feel like I'm maybe just about well enough to film again. <laughs> Um, because today I'm going to be sort of going through and just sort of reminding myself of all the series that I'm technically, I guess, currently reading, like all of my ongoing series. I think there's like 20 something. Um, we'll see. This is something that I wanted to do um, before the year is over, and I guess sort of in preparation for like next year and like next year's reading goals, I just kind of want to see I guess what obligations I still technically have going on. I don't know, maybe this will hopefully give me some motivation to finish some of these series next year. So, okay, I'm gonna need to rest on my like giant vintage stuff Pikachu. So what I'm going to do is I've got my giant ungodly huge laptop out um, and I actually have like a little reading spreadsheet. It's an amalgamation of many other people's reading spreadsheets that I've seen. I've just sort of like put them together as I think looks good um, and I refuse to pay for Microsoft Office, so I have done this in a version of Excel that is so outdated, um, it, it doesn't register on like new machines anymore. I might be using like a 20 year old spreadsheet, so I'm not going to share it. Okay, this says I have 29 series, but I don't think that's true, because some of these series are like linked to other series. Like for example, I'm reading the First Law trilogy by Joe Abercrombie. And on this spreadsheet, it will also include, like, The Great Leveller and The Age of Madness, which are, like, two subsequent series in the same world. I'm not counting those two series as ongoing, but they will be on this spreadsheet. So, anything like that, I'm going to skip over. So, it's probably going to be, like, 20... between, like, 20 and 25 series on this spreadsheet that I will actually go through. Okay, the first series that I've started and have not finished, and, and this is, like... Oh, we're starting off shameful. Um, it's the Dragon Age series by various authors, but initially this was by David Gader. I started reading this series back in like, oh my god, it must have been like pre-2010. Dragon Age is like one of my, it's my favourite video game ever, Dragon Age Origins specifically, and I've literally only read the first book. And it's so shameful, because not only is Dragon Age like one of my favourite things, I've said for years that The Stolen Throne, the first book in the series, which I gave five stars to by the way, I, I for years I didn't know whether my favourite book would either be The Stolen Throne or Interview with a Vampire. One of those two books is my favourite book, <laughs> so like, I can't believe that I haven't actually finished this series yet. Um, I've been saying to for years that I need to. I started book two, um, and then I think I just got really busy and ended up like not finishing it. I need to move past this series. I feel like so few people give a shit about this series because like, unless you're massively into the games, you probably don't care. But I care. Apparently not enough to read it. <laughs> but like, I need to remedy that. The next series on my spreadsheet um, is equally as bad. It's The Vampire Chronicles by Anne Rice. I know I just said that my other favourite book <laughs> was probably In Siri the Vampire, but like, I've tried to read The Vampire Lestat like three times now, and each time the book has been great. I've loved the book, but I've only got like a few chapters in, and then like, something has happened. I think the first time I started reading it, it was like, my A-level exams or something, so like, I, I have reasonable excuses for like, why I ended up putting down the book. It's just, it's the continuation of, again, potentially one of my favourite books ever. It follows like, a fantastic character that I love reading about. And it's like got vampire rock stars. I just, there's no reason that I haven't, I just, mm. I feel like I need to pick up the pace. So the next series on my spreadsheet is the, I tell you, is it just called the Teeling series by Erica Johansson? So I thought I had finished with this series and I would never have to touch it again. The Queen of the Teeling, I thought was a fantastic book. The Invasion of the Teeling, I hated. Oh God, did I hate it. There was so much wrong with that book. And then... The Fate of the Tealing, the third book, again, no spoilers or anything, I thought it was going to build up to be like a fantastic book, I thought it would like redeem itself, I loved the direction we took with the villain, I was thinking like this is going to be fantastic, that middle book just had middle book syndrome, oh my god, the ending is the biggest cop out of any book, I just, it was like, oh, it was abysmal, it's the worst ending to any book I've, I, I could possibly envision, I'm, I couldn't think of a worse joke ending if I tried. So, I was quite happy to be done with this series, but then a prequel came out, and I was supposed to read the prequel, 
um, but it took, it kept getting delayed and it took so long to get to me that I'd hyped myself up enough in my head to read this sequel and then it kept getting delayed and it put me into a reading slump, which is why I've not read it yet. So um, I still need to read Beneath the Keep, I think that's what it's called, by Erica Johansson. Okay, my next ongoing series, this is one that I feel like I need to get to soon. Um, and it's the finale of the Simon Snow series, Any Way the Wind Blows. So, I really liked book one. Book two, again, I thought it was just not great. It, it was very short. It ended kind of randomly. But, like, I enjoy the characters and, like, I, don't, I can literally see the book from here. <laughs> it is a bit of a chunky book, but I, th I think it is just one that, at some point, I need to just sit down and read. I feel like it's because usually when I crave some sort of like fantasy it, it's very YA you know it's like a YA contemporary with like a bit of like vague sort of Harry Potter fanfic vibes like sprinkled onto it so it's never really what I actually want to be reading um, but when I do read these I, I have previously enjoyed reading them so at some point I'll get to it. Oh okay yeah this ooh, the next one um, is Rule of Wolves, the second book in the Nikolai duology. Look, what do I say about this? Um, I love Lee Bardugo's writing for the most part. Even though it's YA, I've always found it very enjoyable. But oh my god, was King of Scars not like a massive flop? I have no idea why we went that direction. Yeah, um, I haven't read Rule of Wolves, and it's mainly just because it's the sequel to a book that I really did not enjoy. Um, and here's the thing, maybe it's just King of Scars that's bad. Maybe Rule of Wolves is good and like fixes things. But also maybe it doesn't, so I just haven't been excited enough to pick it up yet. Ooh, okay, the next one. Haha, <laughs> uh, the next one is the Roots of Chaos series by Samantha Shannon. I am so hype for A Day of Fall the Night, you don't even know. I have like three copies pre-ordered. Yeah, not much to say about this. The only reason I have not read it is because it is not out yet. I think it comes out in February um, next year, so I will be updating that as soon as possible. I intend to read it like as soon as possible. Okay, the next series is the... is it just called the Ember in the Ashes series by Sabah Tahir? I read An Ember in the Ashes in like... Was it like 2018 or something? It was so long ago. But I really liked it. I thought it was like... At the time, I remember thinking it was about as good as like Six of Crows, at least in terms of my enjoyment. I don't think I need to reread it. I think it's like... I think I remember enough of what happened. But I think I do maybe need to just like try and read the second book and depending on how I feel about the second book, I will either continue this series or I will just admit that it's probably been too long for me to like have maintained an interest and maybe I'll just DNF it. But I would like to finish it. Um, I feel like that second book is like a make or break for this series <laughs> in terms of whether I will actually finish it or not. Okay, the next series on this spreadsheet is one that I might honestly DNF, but I haven't officially DNF this series yet. Um, I don't, I think, is it just called Want? by Cindy Pon. Um, again, I read this, I think like the same week that I read A Number in the Ashes. It's like a sci-fi about like pollution and like exosuits or something, I don't really know. Um, it was very very basic and very very YA but I remember not hating it and managing to finish it in like a day and I'll be honest I have never had really any intent to like continue with this series but I remember that I did enjoy it, like I was surprised how much I enjoyed just like how I guess easily bingeable and readable it was, I guess because it is like a fast paced YA series. So I'm not saying I will never ever ever read book two, but it's been many years and I haven't bought it and I think I'm just like not officially DNFing this series yet, but I feel like I probably will, depending on like how much longer it sits on this spreadsheet. Slightly controversial one, um, it's the Witcher series by Andrzej Sapkowski. I liked things about the first book and disliked probably like an equal number of things about it and ultimately I do intend to continue with this series but I just hate collections of small stories like short story collections are just not they don't vibe with me I don't like them I don't get enough out of them I really don't care even for like series that I really enjoy and really like expecting me to read like a couple short stories in a bind up is just I'm not gonna have a good time I'm never going to rate it higher than a two stars. I've learned this about myself over many years of trying different like short story collections. It does not work for me. I do not like them. So the fact that book two is more short stories, I will continue with it because I really want to get to the first book that is like, I think it's book three where it's actually like a book and not just a bunch of like honestly fairy tale retellings. I will get there. I just have no motivation to do so right now. <laughs> this next series, once again, 
um, The World of the Five Gods series by Lois McMaster Bujold. Um, I gave book one, The Curse of Chalion, five stars. It's one of my favourite books ever, and I think the protagonist is my favourite book character ever from any book, I have decided. Still haven't read book two. <laughs> I know the reason I haven't picked it up yet is just because I think I'm just worried I won't like it as much because I'm pretty sure that book two, I think every book in this this like world follows like different characters. So the characters that I know and love from book one, it's they're not going to be there. I, they might appear in the background, but like, you know, it's not going to be the same. Um, I'm pretty sure book two follows like sort of background characters that sort of like briefly appear in the first book. Um, so this is like their story and I, I love the world and the writing and like I, I trust the author to make more characters that I will enjoy but they just aren't the characters you know you know I'll get to it I will um, I own multiple books from this series oh okay yeah the next series I have here is the something dark and holy series by Emily Duncan now I picked up Wicked Saints because of like the insane marketing around the book. Yeah, they said it was going to be like this big epic dark fantasy inspired by like Skyrim, Dragon Age, Grisha. I have like a whole rant on this book actually. And I said I would still continue. I could see potential there, you know? And it was the author's debut. I definitely want to keep an open mind and assume that maybe she could have improved or, you know, like worked on the things, the issues that I had with the book. So I will continue with this series. I just haven't done so yet. This series, I don't know why this series is so far down on my list actually, it should be way higher up. This is the Outsider series by Claire Delis. Um, so this is a like self-published like indie series. Um, so Claire is a YouTuber. I th think she's like best known for like um, SFX and like makeup type videos. But she self-published um, her own books and this series I don't know whether it's one that I technically can finish but it is on this spreadsheet so I don't know whether she's actually still writing them um I have book one and book two and I've read them both um and the last thing that I remember hearing from Claire about this series was that she was drawing them out as a comic um entirely herself and she's a fantastic artist like with fantastic artwork um and she was publishing every like chapter of the comic for free on her own website however I can't find that website. I can't find the comic. I don't know if I'm just like really bad at googling it, but this was like many years ago so I don't know whether she's even still doing that. And obviously drawing it out as like a very, a very detailed comic um, would take a lot of time and she would still have to get through all of book one and all of book two before starting on book three. I don't know if she ever got that far. I don't know if she ever will. So um, this series is here because like I I technically can't finish it, but I haven't heard that it's been officially, like, cancelled yet. So, if Claire comes out and says, or maybe she has and I just haven't seen it, but, like, until I know that this series is officially cancelled and, like, we're not getting any more, um, then I will take it off this spreadsheet, but <laughs> until then, um, it's, it's here waiting to be finished. The next series I have on here is the Captive Prince series by C.S. Packat. I feel like if I start talking too much about this series, I'll end up into, like, a, a weird cyclical rant. I'm pretty sure I will still read this series. Um, I think they're very basic, straightforward and bingeable and I I honestly think the main reason that I'm going to read this series is to figure out whether it actually presents itself as problematic or not. I'm pretty sure that like a lot of the content itself could be considered problematic but it entirely depends on the way it's presented to the reader. I, I think if the book presents it as being what it is or being entirely for like kink purposes then like fair enough I have no issue with it you know like you do you um if it presents it as like a genuine romantic love story then I will have an issue with it and I that's probably like the only reason that I'm still gonna read these <laughs> is just to figure out like whether I'm gonna be angry at it or not Oh, next. Okay, one that I'm actually excited for um, and that I am up to date with. Um, so the next series I have ongoing is The Band series by Nicholas Eames. Um, so book one, Kings of the Wild, I have read and book two, Bloody Rose, I have also read. Um, enjoyed these series very much. They were just like, they're very fun, sort of casual fantasy and I think a really good, easy way to get yourself into the genre if you're like, not big on fantasy. Considering you're watching my channel, I'm going to assume you don't need that tip, but like, it's there. Yeah, book three, Outlaw Empire. I have been waiting for this book for years, for years. I, I assume a lot of the delays might be like around the pandemic, um, 
but I'm I'm sure this was going to come out in 2020 and then 2021 and then 2022 and look at this we're going into 2023 I don't even think we've got a cover reveal yet so um yeah I'm gonna read this when it comes out I keep trying it keeps not coming out so the next series and this is one that I it's probably gonna be quite high on like my list of priorities um and it's the raven's mark series by ed mcdonald um so i know he has come out with like the first book in a new series as well which i think might be ya um but i definitely want to finish this series before i like try any of his other stuff um so the first book blackwing i read quite a while ago actually um and really loved it it was really good very like uber over the top kind of grimdark had like sort of like post-apocalyptic military type vibes um it felt pretty fresh um, and I just haven't gone on to book two. Why? I, I don't know why I haven't read it yet, honestly. I, I just, I get easily distracted. <laughs> um, but this series is probably quite high on my list of things that I want to read, especially because the author's coming out with like more works now that, and I, I would like to be able to read those as well. So they're not even that long either. Um, yeah, I just need to, I, I just need to read them. <laughs> Okay, another series where I have read more than book one. Um, that is the first Law series by Joe Abercrombie. So I read The Blade itself, um, I think in like 2019. Ah, oh, so long ago. Um, and then I read Before They Are Hanged this year. <laughs> so I'm making progress. I just really want to see how it's going to wrap up. Um, so I don't think I will have any problem getting to the last book in this series anytime soon. Like I say, I'm going to skip over The Great Leveller and The Age of Madness because I'm counting those as like separate series, so they're on this spreadsheet, but I don't have to worry about them right now. Okay, next is the... Oh, this. The name of this series pisses me off to no end. It's called The Beautiful Quartet, and it's by René Adier. So I understand why they've called it The Beautiful Quartet, and I'm guessing it's because it's meant to evoke like... Like, like a quartet is like a... It's, it's four musicians, right? A, but... It's annoying me because I know I know there's going to be people out there that just assume that it's called quartet because they think that four books is a quartet. It's not. Four books is a tetralogy. <laughs> I've never heard a single person on booktube ever use the correct word for a four book series. I think people say quadrilogy, which sends a shiver down my spine. I'm so sorry. I understand that language works where if enough of you are wrong, you suddenly become right and that I'm pretty sure quadrilogy is also now like an accepted word for a four book series which is totally fine if you use that word you're not wrong to do so but i've just literally never ever ever heard anyone on this godforsaken site ever use the word tetralogy anyway i can't i can't start ranting because i'm still too ill to do so so um yeah book one the beautiful um this was a book with like the most over-the-top hype like vampire marketing this all the marketing for this book was like vampires, vampires, vampires. And then you read the book and there's no fucking vampires. The book is very light on the vampires until like right at the end, pretty much. Um, it's more meant to be like a, a kind of murder mystery type book, which I enjoyed, perfectly enjoyed it. Um, I just haven't gone on to book two. Again, I think it's because it's a YA and I think they just draw me in less, especially because like the murder mystery bit has been like solved and I don't know if book two is going to pick up like a new and interesting mystery, but I don't think they can do the murder mystery thing again. So I don't really know what's like drawing me into book two other than I guess like the way the book one ended and kind of the romance, but I care less about those things. So I almost picked it up at Halloween time, but I just had too much else to read. So I will get to it eventually. Okay. Next is another series that's really high on like my um, priority list and it's The Black Iron Legacy by Gareth Hanrahan. So The Gutter Prayer is book one and I loved that book, freaking love it. Um, I've recommended it so many times on my channel. Um, I've also read book two, The Shadow Saint, and I started reading book three, um, The Broken God, I think? Pretty much right when it came out, but again, this is another one where like, I'm pretty sure I stopped reading this because like, pandemic-y related things got in the way. Um, so. This is another series that is quite high up on my like list of priorities of like books that I actually want to get to. Um, so the minute I do that, then I will wrap up this series and get it off the spreadsheet. Um, and I'm pretty sure Gareth Hanrahan is also now coming out with um, another new adult fantasy series um, next year. Um, so I would obviously really, really like to read those as well because um, this has like been one of my favourite fantasy series, so hopefully he can do it again. Um, but I would like to have this series wrapped up before I start any of his other stuff. Next series, also super high on my priorities. Um, the Gentleman Bastard series by Scott Lynch. Um, this, book one, 
was such a five star read for me oh my god and um, the lies of lock and laura loved it loved it so much i don't know why i haven't gone on to read book two again it's super super high on my list of priorities um i really want to get to book two i think sooner rather than later i think the only thing is i don't want to leave it too long between reading each installment and like it's been a few years so like i need to pick it up but also i know that there's only four books out so far and i know they take an age to come out so like I'm going to be frustrated no matter what I do, um, but I think I might just... I'm going to have to continue this soon, so... Okay, the next series on here is The Murderbot Diaries by Martha Wells. So I read All Systems Red a couple years ago. Um, really enjoyed it, really liked it. Murderbot is, like, extremely relatable to me. Um, however, again, I think it's just because they're like um little novellas that you'd think it'd be really easy for me to just like pick one up and read it but at the same time i just never seem to pick up novellas so i just need to fix that <laughs> basically um i will continue with this series i own i think all the books that are out so far because i know i will read them i just haven't gotten around to it okay the next series on here is the poppy war series by rf kwang i'm like 50 50 about this one i enjoyed the first book enough um and i actually bought the whole series in hardback because of like a weird dream that I had. I, I like how book one ended, I just, I have a feeling that the characters I enjoy are not going to feature very heavily and that the characters that I really don't enjoy will feature more in the books. Um, and also they're very long and I didn't enjoy them that much, you know what I mean? Like I liked them but do I really want to put in like that much effort? Um, I might give book two a go but I can see myself maybe DNFing this series, not because it's bad, just because I feel like it's going to require a lot of effort from me to like get through two very large books, especially when I remember the first book being quite a slog. And here's the thing, I know that it is an adult fantasy, but it does read like YA. Like, if it weren't for the, like, um, I guess very heavy content about like war and like the horrors of war if that didn't feature it would be a YA book I feel like the characters read very juvenile and like the writing as well it, it just reads like an edgy YA to me um but I, I will give it a go you never know I might really end up liking book two and if I do fantastic but this is not like a high priority series for me um it's, it's probably gonna sit on my shelf for a while I think okay I swear we are almost at the end. Um, so the next series on here is the Lawful Times series by Daniel Green. Um, so I have read the introductory like novella to the world, um, Breach of Peace. I have not yet read um, book two, Rebel's Creed. However, I'm pretty sure in a recent video, Daniel had said that um, there's going to be like a new like bind up volume of um, sort of the prequel novella and book one and that a lot of it's going to be like rewritten and made a lot better so I think rather than going on to read book two now I'm actually going to wait until like the newly edited edition um sort of bind up releases and I'll reread um book one and then go on to read well I'll reread the prequel and then go on to read book one in full um when that happens so until that comes out I'm not going to continue with this series Okay, camera down again. Um, I think I was saying that the series, I think, is called the Enderol series by Nicholas Lietzau. Um, so, book one, Dreams of the Dying, I loved. Um, this is like another indie self-published series. Um, I absolutely loved book one of this series. And book two, I believe, is called A Cure for Living. Uh, it's one of my most anticipated books. However, it just is not out yet. Um, I, I, I don't know if there's like an actual um, release date in mind. I think it might possibly come out in 2023. Um, I don't think there's even, I don't even know if there's like a cover reveal that's happened yet. I don't think there is. Um, and I don't think there's been like an official, um, like estimated release date yet. So uh, this next series is kind of the same thing, but kind of not. Um, so it's the Empire of the Vampire series by Jay Kristoff. Oh, this was like my most anticipated book ever in my entire life. I liked things about this book and I disliked a lot of other things about this book. I fully do intend to go on um, and continue this series. I don't know when the next one's gonna come out. I honestly don't know how to feel about this series, to be honest. Um, I really will continue it, but like, in the wildest way, if this book devolves into another big J. Kristoff fest of having a whole bunch, in fact, way too many, extremely 2D, tropey ass characters, just like for the sake of him having yet another band of sassy talking misfits, if that is like the core of this book once again, I will literally DNF this entire series. Um, I do not care. <laughs> Jay Christoph has gone from 
writing like some of my favourite books ever because I love Nevernight and I love God's Grave. Don't don't it. But like, you know, that's I, I will still say that Nevernight is probably like one of my favourite like series as a whole, particularly book one. Um this series had the potential to be like my favourite thing ever. And he's gone from that to being like an author that I, I genuinely cringe a little bit to think about. Like I it's not that I've necessarily outgrown him, it's just that he just isn't doing anything new. He's doing the same thing he always does, but worse every time he does it. Yeah, I, I will definitely read the second book in this series and I will hope that it is anything other than a bunch of pointless characters who don't matter just shoehorned in there so that he can be like, hey, I can have like five different people all saying sassy things at once. I'll continue with it though. Um, maybe you'll get a rant review out of me if it turns out to be that. Okay, um, oh, and the last series on this list is the Empire of the Wolf series um, by, is it Richard Swan? Yeah, I am actually currently reading book one, um, The Justice of Kings, um, as we speak. I thought I would have finished it by now, but again, I got horrendously, horrendously ill, so. I haven't actually finished the book yet, but so far I'm enjoying it and I'm pretty sure that I want to go on and read book two. Um, I keep, I have book two in my cart actually on the Goldsboro website and I just haven't bought it because, and no offence to Goldsboro, like, but their books are so expensive and they don't even have foils or designs or anything. It's literally just signed with a stenciled edge. I definitely will be picking up book two, whether I get the special edition or not. And I don't know if this is like a duology or like a longer series, not a clue, um, but I'm enjoying it so far. Um, I don't really want to say too much because I can't really judge a book that I haven't finished. I mean, unless like something further in the book absolutely like really puts me off it, but I, I can't really see that happening. So I'm pretty sure that this is going to be on like my continuing series list for the near future, at least until I read book two. Um, I'm pretty sure that is every series that I am technically currently still reading. Um, this could very easily increase. I actually, <laughs> there's so many points in time where I've gone to pick up like the first book in a series and I've actively put it down because I've been like, do I really want to be reading another series and have another series ongoing while I've got so many on the go? But yeah, um, so this is what I'm dealing with in terms of like my ongoing series TBR. I'm so ill, I don't remember how to end these videos, but like, thank you for watching. Hopefully this has been like a little bit entertaining or enlightening. Um, again, so many of these series are ones that I started like quite a while ago. So at this point it's like, I don't know if anybody else remember that I was reading them let alone me. And I guess do let me know if there's anything here that maybe I should prioritise or like I'm safe to drop. There are definitely a few on here that like I'm definitely prioritising but like let me know if there are any of the ones that I'm maybe like less excited about I should like try and like bump up a little bit. Um, but otherwise yeah that's pretty much it from me. Don't know how my next video will be considering I'm still pretty ill um, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video whenever that may be. Bye!